I'm Tiffany Roney Salerno with the Hollywood Network, and I'm here with Michael Jr., the comedian. He's hilarious. He's amazing. Michael Jr., um, how do you see God moving in the media? Yes, I do. <laughs> no. You should figure out you're going to get this when you're an interview comedian. It's not going to be normal. Oh, my goodness. God has been moving in it for a while, but I just, I'm, a, I'm excited that people are now getting on board with saying, hey, how can I create something that's going to glorify God, whether it be overwhelmingly obvious or whether it be stealth in a way that people can receive it, even though they don't know they're receiving it in the moment. But later on when they need it, it'll show up. Kind of like, um, kind of like when you read the Bible. Some of the stuff you're reading, like in Numbers and Leviticus, you're like, Where am I? what is this? And then later on when you need it, it just shows up out of nowhere. So I think that's some really good strategic media, and I think that's what's going on here as well. Wow. Um, I'm remembering, I, I've watched so many videos of yours. I'm a fan. Um, and how you've talked about how the different things in life where you had to think quick and like God's used that mm -hmm. in the comedy. Could you just speak to that a little bit about how God um, uses like some of those things that we go through, kind of like with the Bible. Why am I reading this in life? This to trials. Why am I going through this? But God uses it in your calling. Yeah. So I kind of talk about how there's uh, in life, there's setbacks and then there's setups. Your setback is... With some of the comedy, in comedy there's a there's a setup and there's a punchline. Yeah. The setup is when a comedian makes the audience think in one direction. The punchline is when he changes the direction when they're not expecting it. So in life it's the same way. There's setbacks in life, but then there's also punchlines that we can deliver. A good way to say it is someone's setup might be the fact that they got a house, they got a car, they're married. That's your setup. But if you don't know what you're called to deliver, then you'll never be able to really live fulfilled. Yeah. So... If you do, and even your setbacks in life, like I used to struggle with my reading, even your setbacks in life are part of your setup so you can deliver the punchline you're called to deliver. So everyone has a punchline to deliver, but if you have a setback and you're just focused on the hardship of the setback, it'll be hard for you to deliver. So you have to be able to, it's like a slingshot or a born arrow. The further you've been set back, the further you can reach, but you have to be willing to let go. So that's really the big, that's really a huge key to really moving forward and accomplishing what you what God has called you to. I'm trying to get him to yeah, tell kind of a story that was so story, You don't want to mess up. So, <laughs> I only remember the punchlines. I had to hide that from y'all. So, yeah, I was in a, I was doing an event and um, I met, so I, and when I was a kid, I used to struggle with my reading a lot. And now, as a result of that, I look at things differently, even though I read real fine. I read just fine, but I still have this ability to look at things really different, really fast. And God is completely using that thing. So uh, when I met Jay Leno for the first time, we're in a green room. I had never met Jay Leno before. It's our first, like I'm been brand new at doing comedy. And at the time, you're working on a joke for the Tonight Show's monologue on NBC. And it was a joke. About, it, in the news, there was a story about a football player who got hit in the eye with a flag. And he was soon in the league for $400 million. Well, Jay Leno and all of his guys are writing a joke for his monologue on a tonight show i'm not saying anything i'm just happy to be in a room sharing french fries with these dudes but your gift will make room for you so they're sitting there and they're working on a joke then they got quiet and looked at me and i was like oh snap this is an opportunity i was like let me see if i got this right he got hit in the eye with a flag he lost his vision in one eye and he's suing a league for 400 million dollars and then boom it hit me i was like they're not gonna see half of it <laughs> place explodes laughing jay leno laughs i'm on the tonight show shortly after that but all of that came for what, from what looked like a setback from something in my life where I was struggling with my reading, what was really happening is God was using it to cause me to think differently. So even in those moments, I'd have something ready to go as opposed to being afraid and trying to over, over process. So God will use our setbacks in life to get us to where we're supposed to be as long as we don't just murmur and complain about where we are. Whoa, that was the Israelites we just threw up in there too. So thank you so much for this. This was awesome. Yes, and um, you know, I'm realizing one of my little setups was I was watching all your stuff. Never know I'm going to interview you, so you never know what you're oh. watching about studying online. Oh. You're setting yourself up, you yeah. know, so pay attention to what you're studying and what, yes. you know, you're drawn to. Maybe you have a calling in that, and yes. God's going to set you up to, to deliver. <laughs> where can uh, people find you and all your yeah. stuff? So I just bo I wrote a book called Funny How Life Works, where we use fun ass called the same thing. So Funny How Life Works, you can check out what we're doing. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited. Awesome. And do you have anything else that's uh, on your heart to share you'd like to say, think people should know? Yeah, I'll just say you don't have to be a comedian to deliver a punchline. Everyone has a punchline. You have a setup, and there's something for you to deliver. 
So dig into God's word and you'll find those opportunities to deliver. Boom.